the, the age of man things, or elf thing, or reptile things, is over dead. <laughs> now is the time, time of the rat. Thank you, Scroll, for that lovely speech. That was fantastic. Hello, guys. It's Donanox here, and we're going to be playing... My first ever campaign of Immortal Empires. Of course it was going to be Skaven. Of course it was going to be Skaven. If you guys know me or have seen any of my uh, Let's Plays in the past that I always finish. Wink, wink. Then you'll know that I play Skaven a lot. We've had Ikit Claw. We've had Lord Scroll. We've had them all. I'm starting with Lord Scroll again because I really enjoy this Lord. I think he's got great potential with his magical powers and uh yeah i'm really excited so welcome to the land of immortal empires look at this it's finally here in all of its glory look how beautiful this is i mean it's a complete lustre look at it it's complete like you've got the back end back you can see that the it's just well done and why is the nurgle here that's very interesting but look how big Lustria is alone. Look, this is Lustria! This is Lustria! I mean, look, what the? And then you've got the rest of the world. Like, there, there is so much to grasp here that I, I can't understand it, man. It's insane. It's absolutely amazing. This could... This is going to be the greatest total war of all time now. Warhammer 3, okay, granted. Realms of Chaos, very disappointing. Didn't enjoy it. Tried to record it. Never really got into it, but this, this is going to be fun. And I can feel it's going to be fun. And obviously, we're playing a Skaven, so we're going to get right into the content, as I always say. So, we are Oxal. This is what we do. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is the first thing I'm going to do, is I'm actually going to delete this building. You're like, what? You're like, what? What is he deleting that already for? Because there's a special building you can build here, and you have to delete it to first get it. Uh, what also we're going to do is we're going to actually upgrade that. And then we are going to rebuild the barracks here. Right, of course, we're going to have first battle to do. So we're going to bring Sinkon, which we are going to rename. We're going to rename him. Um, Jeff. Why not? Just Jeff. They are. And Jeff's going to join. No, he's not going to scout him. He's going to he's going to go into Lord Squawk. There he goes. And we're going to fight our first battle. And obviously, we're going to fight it. It's the first battle of the series. And we're going to just have a little look around uh, what uh, what Lord Squawk has to offer for all these years since I last played him. Back in 2017. That is a long time ago. That's a long time ago. That was back on the Eye of the Vortex campaign when rituals were a thing. Do you remember them? Rituals? By the way, guys, I've never really managed to get these Warhammer vids to do well. Like, I've never really managed to really complete series on them and stuff. And that's all changing for 2022 the, with this Immortal Empires. Because now it's finally here. The big map has arrived. I can now relax and just go through all the races one by one and have a load of fun. And it's going to be an enjoyable experience. Hey ho, it is. So, we're going to start off by just getting uh, an ambush. We, we start with an ambush. Oh, this is fantastic. But with all we go in, we're going to obviously have a look at Skrulk, see if they've changed anything about him. We'll have a little, few, little look at the new units. I mean, no, he looks exactly the same. Cool. What about that? What about Jeff? Jeff just looks like an almost game and lord. There's not really much to show then. We've already seen all this with Warhammer 2 and that. Except that, uh,. I'm really excited to play a bit of Skaven. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. Let's uh, let's uh, let's let's ruin this this lizard's guy's day. You know what? He's just having a good old chill time, walking through the land of of his jungle. Like, ah, what's going on here? And he's made many lizardmen just chilling out, not knowing what's about to happen. Well, a lot of things are about to go down, and one of them is this is a full-on ambush. So. I'm really excited to be, be getting this going. So double sided on both catapult fronts here. And then we've got Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna slap in the middle. We're just gonna cause multiple damage to the to these units. Uh, I'm actually gonna do locked groups like this. Actually spread out my units a little bit. 
um, control two. Lock them as well. Uh, so that's them two locked. Then also we've got plague monks. We're going to put them... We're going to stick those guys here. And spread them out as well. Control three for a lock group. Lord Squall can chill there. You know, just put both commanders here. Get them ready to shoot straight away. Uh, and then we got our slingers, which will give them a little bit of damage as well. And uh, we're just going to charge from both sides. It's going to be brutal. Start the battle. And a charge. Oh my god, get a cinematic of this. Oh, lovely. Some lovely hits straight, straight away here. My commander's going straight into the battlefield. Let's get a nice little breath off. Yes, lovely stuff. Charge, both sides charging in. This looks so cinematic as hell right now. Both sides getting a little bit of a taste for what is to come. No one shall escape. I mean, they might escape, but no, they probably won't. They'd have to get to there to escape, and they're not going to as I close the barrier on them ever escaping. Right, let me see if I can get some good hits off with the catapult here with Art. Before I do some friendly fire! Okay, go there. All right, so get right into the back of them. Perfect. Kill the skinks. Kill them. More cinematic shots of rats v lizards. It's always a sight to behold. Ow! That hurt. Any saurus in this? I mean, they're, oh, they look like sauruses. Then they might be sauruses. They are. Okay, you know what? Let's get both our leaders. They're already running. They've already had enough. They're already... Get on the leader. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Right. You know what? Stop. 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 We don't want a friendly fire. Let's, please. I'm not I'm not in the mood to, like, kill my entire army by friendly fire in here. Okay. Get pestilence. No, that's in the wrong place. God damn it. I messed up my bloody, like, shooting bit. How do I mess that up? I wanted to put Blessed with Phil on my units, not on just one unit. I mean, it's not the end of the world. It doesn't. I mean, what does Blessed with Phil do? I never really know. I know it does, like, poison blades. What else does it do? Oh, so it literally injures every single Lizardman in terms of armor, missile damage, armor piercing, yeah, everything you could imagine is just going to die with that. And that's a beautiful victory right there. And obviously the first of the series was going to be always easy, wasn't it? It was never going to be difficult. But, you know what? It was a lot of fun. And that's all that matters. All right, more replenish. Or should we get food? We didn't lose that many troops. I'm going to go for that one. Yeah, get some more food on the table. Lovely stuff. Right, welcome. Our first battle and we killed enemy Coxicaza. You know what Squawk's like about lizard things. He doesn't like lizard things. He wants to kill lizard things. That's his plan anyway, is to kill lizard things, as you know what they call them. Yeah, so what I'm doing is in next turn, this will die. This will go back up, and I'll be able to build a really good building, which will help my cause a lot. Right. Uh, okay, so we got two options here. We actually can just instantly attack here, which is fantastic. Uh, this is not where... Oh, casualties high. Might have to fight this because the fact that it says high casualties. I mean, what, what sort of scam is this? You got skinks and skink cohorts. You're going to do loads of damage. Is that, it's not going to happen. Is it really? Fine. I guess I have to fight it because you like that. Because you like that, aren't you? You just want me to fight things. By the way, we really want to steamroll Southern Sentinels as soon as possible. We don't want them to build an army up. you got to be quick with this. But the most important thing with your first faction you fight is you've got to get rid of them quickly. Especially on very hard. When you know, when you just know that everything could go wrong in like a split second. And everything goes pile up. It happened in Warhammer 2 too much. Why is everything so green? What the? Is it meant to be like this? It's like a Skaven storm above. It's very, very, very green. Like, it's insanely green. What the? Hang on. <laughs> Let me just check out a little bit on these uh, brightness settings right now. Um, is it meant to be green? Is that is that a thing? Is it meant to be? 
green. It's incredibly green is what it is. I mean, look at it. Is it like a Skaven storm, Matt? Like, what is this? It's extremely green is what it is. Right. Anyway. Okay. So, we are just going to literally go through this gate. I, I really don't see anything, any point. We have catapults. Just... Yeah, just, just, just set up a nice little clan rat line. Ready to go in and kill everything. Yep, control one that. It's fine. That's a plague monks. The more plague monks. There you go. Lovely. We got both our leaders. They can do some damage. And then we get our catapults. Catapult one. Catapult two. And then we got some slingers that we can put forward to shoot. You know, this this will do. Right. Now we just attack them with the catapults. First. Get some good clump shots off. Instantly bring the slingers forward. And take out the tower. Yeah, let's get some good shots off. There we go. Pretty sure the slingers take out the tower really quickly. They should take out the tower quick. Yeah, they are. They are doing. It's fine. Uh, are we going to get off any good shots anytime today? Oh shit, we've lost range. It's fine, we've always taken out the tower. Once we've taken out the tower, we will move the... The clan rats forward. You know, we'll do it already, so it. It's almost dead. Yes! Yes! Shoot! Shoot! Some lovely hit. Oh, that's a lovely hit. Another fantastic hit. Boom! Attack. Oh. Are they, like, trying to, like, stop me from attacking with my artillery? You know what? I might waste a menace below just to reveal their location. Oh, that was a direct hit. Oh, that was fantastic. Keep getting direct hits off. That's what we want. Alright, let's climb the wall. Let's climb this wall. Come on, get some good hits off now. We can see them. Yeah, on their leader. On their leader. On their leader. That's it. There we go. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Go on. Get a good hit off. Catapult! Charge! Here we go, here we go, here we go! Right. Okay. Get some good hits off. Here we go. Oh, geez. close. Right. Let's move forward. Up the hill. Up the hill. Up the hill. Charge my Skaven warriors! Up the hill, up the hill, up the hill. Right, so we're up on the hill now. Go on, attack. Attack. You go there, you go there. Get individual attacks. What we want to do is spread our units out. We don't want to have this situation where we're dead clumped. Clumped in siege is never good. You want to be nice and far apart. That's good. Right, let's bring up the playing monks next. Oh, that's a good hit. 
Right, you know what? These guys are now shooting. They're stood still. This is where we're going to want to get some good shots off. When they're stood still. Not as green anymore. It was green, but it's not as green as it was. Ow! Please stop, friendly... Why are you hitting that? I said kill them! What part of not friendly fire do you not understand? What the hell? Jesus. There you go. Now you're hitting the right targets. What the hell was all that about? Okay, let's get a good uh, pestle and breath off. God. One thing about Skaven is that leadership is goddamn awful. But fine, we get the magic spells off. Everything's fine. They weren't wrong about high casualties. Looking like that's going to be the case with friendly firing like that. Okay, here come my plague monks, my actual damage dealers. Maybe they'll do a little bit more. Yeah, now we can actually use our blades and weaken their morale and everything like that. Yeah, our pestilence breath. That's better. Use the proper spells. There we go. Right, they should start ret retreat now. Can't be, can't be long now. They've got to be retreating soon. Oh shit, the tower's back up. Shoot it down. Okay, let's get another blessed filth off. There we go. Weaken their morale and all their... Yeah, it's good. These guys are bloody rallying. Stop rallying. Learn to retreat, Lizardman. Retreat. I know you can do it. You can retreat. It's possible. Yeah, get this off. Nice little... There you go. Boom. Ah, oh, lovely. Shit, we're in range of another tower. That's not good. Are you guys shooting that tower? What, what's going on? Like, I just go for the point. They're just going to rally if we don't. Oh, minor settlement battles do annoy me sometimes when my units don't do as they're told. Do you want to do as you're told? They are. It's just these guys left. Kill them and we win. Finally, we're capturing the point. We're going to take out that goddamn tower yet. We're going to lose more troops because of this bullshit. Right, use this. Okay, good. The catapult is opening fire on those on those uh, javelin units. We are now capturing the center. Should be it now. This should be it. Yes! Victory is mine! Good battle. We can end it now. Some nice good kills on the catapult. 207, 157. Not bad. Okay. Good food. Only two food gained, though. That's a bit of a shame. Right. Now, I've got a decision to make here. Do I level free this or not? Because... If I level free this, I could get better troops, but then I leave myself with very bad food. Is it worth it? We are against lizardmen, but we're only against skinks. We're not against, like, 
deadly armored troops. We're gonna level three of this. Or do we just level two it? Level three or level two it? Hmm. I like the level three idea. We can get good units out then. Yeah, it's gonna mess our food up, but we have to do it, man. You have to. You have to do it at Skaven. I've played enough Skaven to realize that you have to do this. Level freeing is fantastic because now what we can do is do what I want to do. And that is... Get some better units out. Now, I would probably... Getting Rattling Gunners out is going to be key. Poison Wind Global Deers is going to be key. So we're going to just upgrade that and upgrade it again straight away. Um, what we're also going to do is cancel this because I've got a better idea in mind. Um, we're going to go straight for the food option here because we're going to need to do that for the food. And then I think we're just going to go... What else could we get? We could go for night runners and stuff and slingers and assassins as well. But I'm actually going to keep my money... And get a money building instead. Well, a growth a growth building, I like to call it. Instead there. And then what we're going to do, guys, is we're just going to level up this as normal. Level this up as normal. We are already level 3 here, so we can just bump that up straight away. I'm just going to sit here for a couple of turns, getting money, and waiting for our better troops. That is how we're playing this. I've played too much Skaven to realize that you have to do this. Especially as a squirrel campaign. Because things go bad so fast in this campaign. I don't know why I put myself through this campaign. It could get really fun if you get past that first initial problem. Right, let's get a non-aggression part with them. And then let's get a non-aggression part with them as well. There we go. Right, so that's already some good non-aggression parts, some good money there. So we don't touch this now. We let our, we let our army heal. We don't bother building any of this crap. It's terrible. And we just wait until we get our better units it's a it's a bit of a slower approach but it's what we need to do definitely food and then the turn so yeah 275 races by the way 200 races factions 275 factions how insane is that that is an absolutely insane number of races. This is going to be a fun campaign. There's going to be a lot to do. It's not going to be the only campaign I'm doing. I'm going to start with Skrulk, and then obviously we're going to work our way up to other campaigns. We are eventually going to play every single campaign on a very hard level, and it's going to be a lot of tons of fun. My hours on this game is going to shoot up very quickly. Right. The plague lords agree. So now that we've done that, we just have to keep waiting. We don't really have a choice. We just wait. We get money. We build up our money. Obviously, we build our structures up if we can. But yeah, we get our money up straight away. That's our plan. Money. Maybe fire rebellion if it comes to it as well. Technology upgrade. Ferocious plan. And then we get pestilence breath for Jeff. And for Skrulky Boy, Root Marcher and pestilence breath. And Wither. There we go. And end the turn. What we need is we need a nice front line and we need some good guns. And that's why we're getting straight up to rattling guns as fast as we can. We're also going to get some flamers as well for, me for melee troops. But we need rattling guns ASAP. We really do. They're going to be great for taking out stegodons and stuff like that. And as you can see, we're getting quite the income now. So yeah, we should be able to build the flamers now. Yep. So we'll get two lots of flamers. Uh, we'll upgrade to level 3 now and wait on the rattling guns. Another two turns. And m most importantly, the Globe of So we're going to grab that. Actually, what's Devious Plan gives us? Okay, nah, that's not important. We'll get driven by hunger. That's way better. Yeah. But yeah, Skaven, you have to sort of play like this. You, d you don't really have a choice in the matter. You're against lizards. They're going to be painfully annoying. And it's kind of what you have to do, really. End the turn. Okay, now we can upgrade to level 2 to get our clan rats. So in two, in literally two turns, we can start building our army. So we can just, like, heal up now and wait. Um, Subterrain has a option if we need to. And I actually am going to get this. It gives us income. It gives us food. It gives us... Yeah, it just gives us a, a wild range of good stuff. So we'll go and grab that. I can't believe how quick the races are dropping. We're already down to 266. 
I've been plagued by Nurgle. Lovely. That's just what we want. Being plagued by Nurgle. Okay, so one more turn and we can start building some proper units. We should probably upgrade that so we can get more food. Um, however, we need to focus on getting units right now. So we're going to just save up our money here and then the tech. Right, here goes. So, Rattling Gunners. So two of them. Two Globadiers. And two Warp Grinders. Mm, I don't know about the Warp Grinders, actually. They can be good. What are they good at? Armor piercing, can attack walls, vanguard deployment. We got a mixture of everything here. Look, pretty good. Rattling gunners, some global days. Mm, the front line's a bit small though. I would, I would get rid of one and then grab another clan rat, just to bolster our front line a little bit more. There you go. Lovely. So that gets us fully. Up to what we need to do. And what we still got two grand we're making. We're making a lot, even though we're making this really decent Skaven army. It's level three shit. It's what we need to actually win against dwarfs, lizards. Why do I pick the hardest Skaven campaign? I remember how much pain and suffering this was last time. It's because I really enjoy playing a Skrulk. Because he's a really good mage when you get his level up. And that's what's good about this. Uh, uh, I'll go for tribute. Okay, let's move off. Right, so what are we going to do? Let's just see what they have. Okay, maybe we can... Maybe we can make this uh, interesting. Can I raid their city? Just try an ambush. It might work. You never know, it might, it might work. Right, what we're going to do now is make a second army to defend the just just to farm rebellions basically this army is just going to be clan rats yeah a couple of clan rats uh, and some slingers Psh, nothing big uh we can go for casualty replenishment right next yes they did it they we did it guys we did it we got an ambush Holy hell, how's that work? Fantastic. So, we're definitely fighting this because we're going to see our Globadiers, our Rattling Gunners, all in action. And they're about to get destroyed because that is finally a proper Skaven army. And we're going to kill them. About bloody time. Let's begin. So, it's a big skink army is what it is. But they have been ambushed. Oh, wait. The ambush failed, but it's fine. I won't worry too much. This is fine. This is going to work out perfectly. Because we have the range. They don't. They're attacking me as well, by the way. So, I think... Who's attacking who? Who's the aggressor here? Right. Why is every... Oh, a hill. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to sit on this hill. Right at the top of this hill. Shooting down at our opponent. Uh, okay, get the rattling gunners. They got some better range rattling gunners and warp fires, but hey. That's some nice, some nice damage. I mean, because they're on a hill, if I place my front line directly below our units, they should be able to shoot down no trouble. Yeah. Then we got our plague monks who are glass cannons. So they're going to want to go in after the rats. Uh, both our leaders there and there. We're obviously going to spread this out a bit more. It's just the wet where we technically are. Globadiers, they're going to be key here. We want to keep them alive. Definitely. we got some fantastic units, which are the warp grinders. They're going to cause a bit of damage. We are going to go further up this hill, by the way. I'm just getting my army in the corner. Right, there we go. Okay, so now let's set up the new plan. So the catapults are going to sit right up at the top here, ready to open fire. Uh, then what we're going to do, so that's them set up. Then we're going to set up the rattling gunners next to that. No, what? The rattling gunners, man, not the globe days. The rattling guns can sit further up. There we go. 
The Globe of Days are going to sit one here and one here. The front line is going to spread out as best it can, like thin as possible. There we go. Uh, our Plague Monks are going to sit a tiny little bit behind there. That's fine. Our Warp Grinders are going to take the brunt of the force. And then we've got one leader here and the other leader here. These Warp Grinders have special abilities as well. Cannot move, but what's this do? Effective. Let me tell you what it does. Oh, causes damage to combatants. Okay. Right, and now we just speed this up. All get in position. The warp fire throwers as well. They can go just slightly behind. I'm going to move the infantry slightly forward. In fact, you want to move your infantry a little bit more forward than you think. You want to get them like away from your catapult if you can help it. Yeah, block that side off. Okay, get Globadiers here. There we go. Yeah, we're using our hill advantage. We have catapults. We have all sorts. I'm ready to do some proper damage here. Globadiers are ready. Get them a tiny little bit more forward. Okay, first attack going off. Good cinematic here now. It is skinked, so they should not their morale should be weak. Quick, quick! We've got Wither, which is going to affect their armor. And we've also got Blessed Filth when they get in combat with my Skavens. Come on, we get some better shots off than that. It's nice to know there's not a Saurus in that army though. But yeah, they've got to charge a giant hill. This is good. Right. Rattling gun should be in range soon. Can I just change his position a bit? Okay, Global Days are going to start firing in a second. Yeah, let's get some more hits off. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Global Days are almost in range. Let's get some uh, menace below in to confuse them. There we go. Globadier's attack. So do flamers. Lovely stuff. Right, blessed with Phil. Wither. Get some warp grinders onto their leader. Bring the other set forward. Get a nice hit off there. Use, use a breath. On the back of there. Use a second breath. We're going to basically kill this side off completely. Wall grinders are in combat now. Get the catapults to focus on the clump here, actually. Yeah, that'll work better. Cool, yes. Globid is on that bunch there. Okay, they're dying on this side. Good. I honestly don't know who's winning. I can't actually tell. It's looking like I'm winning. But I'm not too sure. It's all important we get these good good hits off. Globe of Deers, man, are fantastic. What can I say? Use another breath attack. Right, go on. Get a flank off with the Plague Monks now. The Rattling Gunners are starting to fire. This is good. Go on. Flames, hit. Hit him. Where are my warp grinders? Ready, 
Shoot! Murder kill kill! A slitters! Come on, we can't lose this. Yes, yes! For the Vermintide! Kill, yes! Yes, Rattling Gunner, shoot! That's it! Shoot, 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 shoot! Rattling Gunner, shoot leader! Squawk's really healthy still as well, so we can get a nice breath attack off there. Go on, get some more hits off. Yes, there we go. Bless with Phil. How are my clan rats holding up anyway? Quite firm, quite goodly. Good, good, good. Catapult hit the further ranged units, the ones that aren't like in danger of killing my own units. It's looking good this, keep firing, keep firing. Come on Skaven lines. This is where Skaven are actually good, when they've got rattling gunners and sniper rifles and stuff like this. Yes, yes, kill, kill, kill. Come on, they're fleeing, this is good. That's it, yes! Shoot that Lord dead! Shoot that Lord dead! Victory is mine! And that's the whole oh, wow. Rattling Gunners and Flamers, man. Forgot how fun this was. Kill, 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 kill! Yes, Rattling Gunner, firepower! Just gave it a fun. When they get that firepower going. Lizardmen don't stand a chance. Guide us, horned one. Globadiers. Ready, ready. Right, let's kill as many as possible here, obviously. We want to kill as many as we can because we don't want them escaping. My Globadier is just chasing them down. I'm not going to be able to chase any further than this. Lizardmen are technically faster than me. Ow! Ooh, Jesus. Ooh, Jesus. Ooh, Jesus. Yeah. Friendly fire there. Careful. Right, so look at that. I can't get any more kills, but that is a good battle. A nice close victory. We killed them. We absolutely murdered them. They're running back to their capital with Tailbots. Look at those kills. Globadiers, man, are so good when you use them right. They're so good. Such a good unit. Just they, they, can, they basically can fire over poisonous stuff, so it slows them. It's, it just slows. It's just, it's just a really good unit. Bombardiers are great as well, but you don't get them until later on. But yeah, a Globadier is a nice unit. Uh, Flamers did okay. How the Rattling Gunners get on? Uh, not great, actually. They didn't do too well. But they did kill the Lord, and that's uh, the main threat that was dead from that. By the way, that wasn't just one army. That was two. We killed two armies there. Ah. I guess that reinforcements didn't come. Uh, definitely probably going to go for Replenishment right here. There we go. I cannot see you, but Declare war, really? You're going to be like that. Well, okay, but well, we're on two fronts now. You know, I'm just going to play this out now, sorry. Maybe maybe I just need to play it out. I've got the armies the now, so. Bubonicus is an opus of great and terrible power. Wait, we have like a quest. Away as bait. To be honest, man things. we could do with that. We it could really do with that. Has been sprung. Now Plus 20 food. Your book. We could really do with that. D does our army stand up to the quest? Probably not. Right. Anyway, that was a good fight. We got him dead. Uh, we killed a lot of skinks. But now we got dwarves to deal with. So that's a lot of fun. Right. So. We're going to have to make a decision here. Well, what I'll do with this. Upgrade that. Right, let's get some more units that are going to be able to kill dwarfs. So Globadiers are going to be what we need there. Uh, what else can kill dwarfs? Probably Flamers. Yeah. Should we just go murder the dwarfs instead? I think the Lizardmen have learned their lesson. I mean, they're not going to be able to attack me with skinks. So, uh, I think we go go kill the dwarfs. Take out the dwarfs instead. Yeah. 
They want to declare war on me? Fine. Pull back to Sentinel time. I'm obviously going to have a rebellion to deal with as well, but... You know, we're in a good position here. It doesn't matter. We have one region, remember. We don't have to rush and kill our enemies all the time. We can just chill racks for a while, you know? In there. Um, it's is probably going to declare war on me next. We know that's going to happen. It's fine. I'm, gonna f I'm just going to play this out. Right, where are the dwarfs? What is going on? You have warp stone, yes, yes. <laughs> lovely, lovely warp stone. Trade agreement. They're just like trespassing on my territory, I guess. I don't know what they're doing. My eyes gone, but I see. Okay, let's go kill some dwarfs. I'm actually excited to kill some dwarfs instead. Let's uh how garrisoned is that? Not that garrison. This is just a free victory. Let's go. Well, you declared war on me. So, you're paying the price now. Decisive victory. Minus settlement battle. Why do you have to kill that unit in particular? Can't you just kill something else? I'm going to have to fight it just because of this one unit. Are you flipping for real right now? But yes, guys, that is going to conclude... Part one of my Skaven campaign. I tell you what, right? Frustrating. Frustrating. But you know what? Fine. I can't take Sentinel time out straight away. Fine. Got to adapt. Got to adapt to the situation. And fuck it. You know what? The dwarves declare war on me. They declared war on me, by the way. So I'm just going to go kill them. As simple as that. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, This is going to be pretty fun, actually. There's going to be a lot of Warhammer content on this channel. So stay tuned for that. I'm just really excited to uh, be playing Mortal Empires, man. It's finally here. Mortal Empires is finally here. It's it's all good now. Everything is fantastic. Everything is wonderful. We don't need menace below for this fight. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.